It's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're just joining us now, welcome! For today's video, I wanted to do the video where I basically go to a makeup counter and get my makeup done. I've seen this video trending, I've seen a lot of people doing it. I wanted to do it. When it comes to makeup counters and my experience with them, I haven't actually been to a makeup counter to get my makeup done that many times. I've been once before when I got invited to go and get my makeup done by Kat Von D and it was really good. I had a really good experience. The artist was really good. Um, but on the whole, on the whole of makeup artistry and makeup counters, I've heard not that good things. So I asked my friend Katie, who used to work on a makeup counter, if you had to be a makeup artist and she said no you don't have to be a makeup artist obviously in the interview you're asked to do makeup and you either pass or you fail but you don't actually have to be a makeup artist to work on a makeup counter i thought this was strange not gonna lie because i said well how do you how can you not be a makeup artist but that makeup counter offers makeup services how is that allowed apparently the girls that work there aren't actually makeup artists and they're not offering makeup services they are sales assistants who are promoting the product but to me people do go to makeup counters to get their makeup done so i don't know it confuses me but in any way that is my story of makeup artistry and what i know about it I haven't booked an appointment i'm just basically going to go to the makeup counter say can you do my makeup hopefully i'll be able to get in and see what to do i'm bringing my friend rhiannon along with us now i recently met rhiannon and honestly we get on so well we're very alike she also has a youtube channel and i think you will honestly find her hilarious so please go and subscribe to rhiannon let's try and get her to a thousand because i think that would be really good so rhiannon basically is gonna come with me and she's gonna get her makeup done as well so we're gonna have two makeup looks done at the counter and obviously get an experience from both lots. Let's go. This is Rhiannon, my friend. Hello. Hi. We haven't booked an appointment, so we're just gonna kind of go in and see if like any of the stalls will do a full face of makeup for her. Um, I'm hoping they will. Like Halloween was yesterday, so I feel like today. Yeah, no one's gonna be there. No, no one's gonna really have appointments, even though it is a Friday. I still think. No, it's not. It's a fucking Thursday. No, it's not. It's a Friday. No, it's, fr <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> anyway. I but it's quarter 11. Yeah, so I don't feel like we'll have an issue. I hope not. But in any way, yeah. So I'm not actually sure what counter we're going to at the minute. We're just going to say we'll have one. <laughs> Managed to both get a full face of makeup at Benefit. Now, Benefit Cosmetics to me is best known for their eyebrow products. I personally think they have amazing eyebrow products and I love their bronzer as well. I've never had my makeup done at Benefit, so I was very excited to see how it would turn out. Now, we were given two separate makeup artists, which personally I think is actually really good for this video because it'll give us a different comparison of two people that work for the benefit counter. So, we had a general discussion with the artist. She basically asked what type of look I was going for, and I said that I was going for kind of a glam look, but more of a soft glam, like not full on glam. Um, so, we started off by priming my face. So, she used the benefit moisturizer and then the glow primer because she did ask if I wanted a glowy or a matte look. I have really dry skin and sometimes matte looks just don't work well for me so I went for glowy um and we also use some of the professional around my nose just because I get really like dry skin around my nose and I do think the professional is a really good product and it usually works really well for us so I was happy that she used some of that so the lady started off by concealing my eyelids I've never ever used the Brenfit concealer before so I was actually quite intrigued um it didn't seem too full coverage but it did seem you know it seemed like to done the job for the eyelids but I think it wasn't like the most full coverage concealer if that makes sense so then for my actual eyelid she didn't actually use any eyeshadow what she'd done is used a range of the benefit bronzers so she used the dark shade of the bronzer and then also the original hula bronzer to kind of create my eye look as you can see she's kind of just building it up as a brown smoky now she didn't ask any preference on colors and what i said but i just said soft glam and i said that i would let the lady kind of make the decision um she used a highlighter in the corner and kind of brought it out to the middle of my eyelids um she didn't use the best applicating brush for this in my opinion but it is what it is 
then we went with eyeliner now the lady asked if i used eyeliner and i said that i didn't traditionally use it but i was happy for her to use it if she felt she wanted to moving on to eyebrows now i do usually use benefit products for my eyebrows and i asked for an ombre brow with a good shape on the brows so she used a variety of products i think she used like the gimme brow pencil i know that she used the gel as well to give them some fluffiness um and then she shaped them with another product which i personally can't remember what it was but i've never used it before it was kind of like they're this thing this thing this like crayon thing that she has in her hand yeah i am sorry i'm not a makeup guru so i'm not exactly sure what this product is um but yeah these are the products she used for my brows moving on to foundation i love a full coverage foundation i know everyone doesn't but i just feel like that's what works best for me and i think a full coverage gives me a glam look so i did ask for full coverage when it came to foundation and the base of my makeup um so she started by applying the foundation now i do believe she said that this was a new foundation that they'd released it was kind of in a glass jar it was um i hadn't seen it before but personally i've never used any benefit foundations before the only products that i've used from benefit is is the brow products and the hula bronzer so when it comes to benefit and foundations i'm a bit clueless i don't know what works i don't know what does the makeup artist kindly informed me that benefit do not do a full coverage foundation so what she did do is add a second layer of foundation to my skin which she said would then make the coverage from a medium to full coverage by building it up the makeup artist then went on to use a darker shaded concealer to contour my face. Now she did ask if I wanted contour and I said yes, like chisel that face honey. So we used um, the darker colour concealer on my forehead and then also on my cheeks as well to try and make my face look more chiselled and you know try and just make my face look more shape to be fair. So to try and make my face as contoured as possible, the lady then went in with the dark shade of the Hoola Bronzer in caramel and focused that on the areas where she'd previously put the concealer, so my forehead, my cheeks, just to bronze it up and give us that more contoured look, which is what I asked for. So she then went in and concealed under my eyes and, you know, anywhere that kind of needed a bit of concealing. So like little blemishes that I had with the concealer. Like I said previously, I'm not 100% that this was a full coverage concealer. For me, it didn't seem um, as high coverage as the concealer that I usually use, which is either the Tarte concealer or the Revolution concealer or even the L'Oreal Inflammable. Them three concealers are like really high coverage to me and this didn't seem to give us that high coverage conceal. So next up we went in with highlight. Now she brought the highlight really like on my actual cheek, like the apples of my cheek, which I found really strange. Personally, I have it more towards my temple rather than like on the apples of my cheek. She did um highlight quite like basically all over my face i seen her put it on my forehead she highlighted my nose quite a bit so she really did want to give me like a glowy look grab the hula bronzer again and put this under my eyes to kind of give me the eye shadow under my eye look so for my lips she recommended that i went with a chanel lip product as benefit didn't have a nudie color that i was after but she literally applied the lipstick from the bullet onto my lip now tell me if i'm wrong but is this not unhygienic are you not meant to apply it with a brush i could be wrong maybe it's completely fine to do this but i personally every time i've had a lipstick applied it's been with a brush um i did however love the color of the lipstick i think it was really pretty now i did say that i wore gloss more than matte so she did kindly pick out a matching gloss from chanel that she applied then onto my lips to give me more of a gloss than a matte look and lastly we set everything in place with the benefit translucent powder um so the lady just put this all over my face to try and set the makeup so that it would last the longest time possible. That is an overview of all the products that was used on my face. You've got the moisturiser, we used a bit of blush on my cheeks, the highlight, the bronzer, the gimme brow, the concealer. Um, she used a whole range of different products and like I said, she used the bronzers and the hula brows for my eyelids as well. The gimme brow, which is a product that I actually use and then this is the primer that she used. So it was like the glow primer, that gal primer it was called. Okay, so we're out. Hi. <laughs> oh my god i think this is pretty tragic so basically a benefit you have to buy two products to get the makeup but you can't just pay for the makeover right we'll start with rhiannon go on right 
So I don't think it looks that bad, but when I went in, I asked for a soft glam and I mm -hmm. just feel like I look no different and I just like, this is my makeup that I do in like 10 minutes yeah. at home. Not too, we were like, there, like how long? Like an hour? An hour, long time. What time is it now? It's 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like if you, I'm just like gonna go up close so you can really see like the base actually looks yeah, quite Yeah, the base pretty, is good. But it's nothing. It's it's not glam. No. And then the eyeshadow, she spent so long on the eyeshadow and I just, it just looks like one colour has been put there. Mm -hmm. And she didn't fill my eyebrows in because I said I like a fluffy brow, but I still fill my eyebrows in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she, she, she put, put a lip balm, she put on, a lip balm it. on, which was... And it, it, I've been out about ten minutes, five minutes, and it's off. So yeah. that's the tea. Either yeah, or. I like the highlight. I thought about buying the highlighter. I think with mine, the base is good, but the there's not like much to yeah, it. Yeah, and there's not like it's not it's nothing special. Like I could have done this definitely on my own. Mm -hmm. When I go to a makeup artist, I want a look that I can't do. Yeah. Or else, why would I go Same. to a makeup artist? Okay, so I asked for a natural glam. Um. <sighs> So, we're going to start with the lips because it's actually, like, not on my lip. <laughs> like, can you see that or is it just me? No, I feel I feel like if she tried to overline it and she'd done that, it would have been fine. But it's the fact that she's... And then there's no foundation, like... Yeah, here. I hate that. So, it's, like, white. Okay, the, the worst part is yet to, yet to come. The base of mine... It's all right, but Again, does that look the base is fine. No. No, is that okay? Or is that just the camera? Oh, maybe it's a bit... Like, here, yeah, it's a bit mm. blotchy. Like, it's a bit light there, but it looks all Yeah, right. the base is actually okay, but it's not, like, full coverage, which is what I asked for. And then, like, the contour is actually quite nice. Right, okay, now we're going to the eyebrows. I actually quite like the eyebrows, not gonna lie. They're a bit dark, but I do like the shape of them. Do you? Mm hmm Can I see the other one? Yeah. They look good. Yeah. Okay, now on to the worst part for me is the eyes. So basically the eyeliner is really, really thick and then it's got like, is this the one with two wings? Yes. And then like, there's, it's and not- it's got a hole in it as well. <laughs> what, like, oh, I can see. <laughs> oh my God. You have your eyelashes like that. <laughs> well, look, clearly I can't see. And then like, it's not blended very well, the eyeshadow. Yeah, like it, it needs to be blended towards the brow bone. Like the brow uh -huh. bone is there and then the eyeshadow is there. And then even this side's even worsely blended. Look at that block. Oh. Can you say it? You're not ready to go on a night out. Like, no. you want to get your makeup done and be like ready to go. Mm -hmm. But like, I, I would. Oh, it's the eyeliner is so bad. I didn't even notice. And now. <laughs> Have you seen that block of highlight though? Yeah, have you seen that there's a little crumb of eyeshadow? <laughs> <laughs> this is just so bad. <laughs> the way you're pulling your eyes. <laughs> I'm getting my eyelashes in filled tomorrow, so I don't mind giving them a pull. Oh my god, okay, so would I would I recommend benefit for a night out? Like from here. It looks Fine. okay. I look, mm -hmm. Do you know what? With this necklace, I look like I'm from Australia. <laughs> Are you, you just think? fucking Australian vibe? Yeah, the I'm tan. really getting Australian. Yeah, I'm getting Bottle it. Gotta go safe. <laughs> I'm getting that like... Right, I feel like from a distance it looks okay, but it isn't glam makeup. No, it's, it's natural. Not. It's not makeup that I don't think yourself could recreate. No. Like, I think even the basic of person could do this okay would i recommend benefit probably not not for me maybe not, if you're like 12 yeah maybe if you want a really natural makeup and you're quite young it might look good but if you are me inspected like glam this ain't this ain't this ain't it hun wouldn't recommend benefit do i think it's worth the money absolutely not because you have to buy two products even if you bought the cheapest products and the minis weren't included because I, I tried, because I tried to buy a mini. No, I tried to buy a pencil sharpener. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, the pencil sharpeners and the minis aren't included, and I was like, oh. oh. So how much did you end up paying? 
60 quid or something. Aye, 50 quid. But I did buy the massive hula. Yeah, she bought the massive hula. <laughs> but like, this is not worth 50 quid. But then you're not, are you paying for this though? Because you're getting the product. But, but then you wouldn't. You wouldn't have bought it anyway. Mm. Mm. I don't think it's worth no, it. I, I wouldn't. Don't. I would not go back to benefit for makeup. Like, but the girls were nice. Yeah, the girls were so lovely. I don't think it's anything. No, I it's just not think... the girls' fault. I just think like if you a makeup count, I should imply you should have be trained. Yeah, you should because I feel like even though they're not makeup artists, the sales assistants, you like you do offer makeup services. So to me, offering a makeup service, you should be good at makeup. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, make sure you head over to Rhiannon's channel just to like see the overview more in depth than that of hers. Um, but yeah, so bye. <laughs> Without further ta -ta -ta, <laughs> I'll see you very shortly. Oh, she, she, she was going on earlier about how I say rat -a -tat -tat. I don't even know where I got it from one day. I was just like, I'm a I a just remember watching your videos and I was. Christ. It's a rat -a -tat -tat. I don't know why. I've just <laughs> never heard that before. No, I don't even know where I got it from. Anyway, without further rat -a -tat -tat, I will let you go. And if you like makeup videos and if this is something you want to say, I'm happy to go to like different makeup counters and like review the makeup. But yeah, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye! Oh.